we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. She was the force's sweetheart during the Second World War, boosting morale amongst servicemen on the front line. And so many decades later, their sweetheart would tell ITV News how she still remembered them. So look at all those boys' faces. I often wonder how many of them came back when I look at that picture. When she began singing for the troops, some MPs thought Dame Vera's songs too sentimental, provoking homesickness. Underneath the lantern by the barricade but the forces loved her. Well, all my songs were optimistic songs. They were never war, war songs, as they were. And uh, that was a sort of little message from me, saying, well, things are going to be all right, you know. She visited them too, travelling to far-flung theatres of battle in Egypt, India and Burma. Forty years later, Dame Vera, as she'd become, got her Burma star for entertaining troops behind Japanese lines. There were angels dining at the Ritz And a nightingale sang in Barclay Square Her last public performance before she retired came in 1995 when she sang to the crowds outside Buckingham Palace on the 50th anniversary of VE Day. Ever grateful for the sacrifice of the forces, she devoted herself to many service charities, most notably the Royal British Legion, speaking here on their 90th anniversary. It's very important, always has been, and I hope it will always continue to be so. I mean, there's always some reason for our boys coming home from a conflict, and um, it's there, you know, that they know it's there to help them, and, and it's, it's a wonderful institution. At the age of 92, Dame Vera became the oldest living artist to have a number one album, but it was the fact that she had played a role in the war, that her music had had an impact that she would remember fondly on the 70th anniversary of VE Day. I feel very humble when they think of me and, 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 the, and the war. It's a little satisfaction to know that you were involved in it in some way. Unfortunately, I... I was being able to involve it because I could sing. Meet again. Dame Vera Lynn was the symbol of a defiant Britain at war, a reminder of brighter days to come, the clear and unforgettable voice of a generation that has nearly all gone. Oh,